All righty, I have a new construction update for you guys today, and things are really heating up. I'm sure you have all seen Grace's and Canada's Wonderland's video that I was teasing um, for a while now that discussed and went into detail about a few things, and the park is even teasing an early discussion um, about the construction taking place in Elpin. Keyword, Elpin. I'm so glad the park confirmed that that area is Elpin, because a lot of people have been fighting me on that. Um, and I told you guys, just trust me, you're going to see an, a return to Elpin in this area. And lo and behold, the park is even teasing that. All right. In our station area. So here on the screen, you can see what will most likely be the brake run leading into the station um, for the 2025 coaster. Um, this I can pretty much guarantee um, unless uh, I was reading something wrong. Over in Elpin, they are still working on removing the foundation. This will most likely be utilized um, for some footings for the brand new coaster. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, Tiny Toms is moving to a new location confirmed by Canada's Wonderland, but we already told you guys that. Here is the third tunnel. So yay, we've been waiting for this. Um, and beautifully enough, it aligns perfectly with tunnel two. So this, in my opinion, is most likely going to be um, the launch. Um, now again, things could vice versa, but usually typically, the reason I am assuming this is going to be the launch and the other one is the station and brake run is projects always start with the station. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, here is my new flight location. So next to the hospital, uh, I have a beautiful pond I can utilize for this third tunnel. So I was really excited about that. Um, so I'm able to show you guys a whole new angle. Um, and yeah, hopefully you're really liking the drone shots, by the way. Um, a lot of work is going into these. I literally fly for like five minutes in one spot, land the drone, drive to my other spot, take off and fly for five minutes, land, and then thing. it's getting kind of annoying and repetitive. I'm not going to lie. Um, that is my least favorite part about doing these construction updates, having to land drive and take off again and land drive and take off but yeah here we go so if you look closely um i really don't see um a wing coaster fitting out of this hole so um i'm really ready to rule out a wing coaster um but again you, you can't always rule things out unless you have definitive proof um but i i think you guys are really going to like um what it most likely is going to be um I will say that El Toro Ryan usually gets his things right, um, and there's a reason that Cedar Fair was probably checking out Velocicoaster. With that being said, over at Extreme Skyflyer, here they are completely wrecking Extreme Skyflyer. So no, this is not getting sent back um, to Sky Coaster. This is getting scrapped and demolished. Um, and the question that still remains, what will replace this ride in this plot of land, and why was it removed a whole year early? Wonderland confirmed it's for a future project. So what is it going to be? I don't know. I really don't think the coaster's heading out here anymore. Um, I think this is going to be an Alpen coaster. If it were to head out here, that's a crazy large project. And oh my God. But yeah, uh, I have no idea what this land's going to be used for. Um, the park has a crazy expansion plan um, that they're going to be utilizing over the next five years. So it, it, it things are all up in the air. I can tell you as much that plans have literally changed last minute for even 2025. So, um, yeah, I have no idea what it's going to be. I think it's pretty obvious what happened. Very similar to a Yukon Striker in 2016. I think King's Dominion. Um, is getting our wing coaster. Wonderland was supposed to get a wing coaster. I don't think that design, by the way. But um, they wanted to change the plans, but they had a contract with B&M, and they didn't want to fault on that. So then King's Dominion's getting a launched wing coaster, and Canada's Wonderland's moving forward with a coaster, possibly Zamperla, question mark. Um, but yeah, over here at the second tunnel, the station forms are going up along with the retaining walls for the brake run. Um, and yeah, uh, not much else going on outside of that. There is, I'm trying to think if there's anything else important. Um, um, that's pretty much it. All right. So let's enjoy the construction of our launch tunnel coming out of the mountain. Um, we'll call it that a third tunnel is going in. And uh, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with Thunder Run. Um, and are they going to be able to get this done in time? Um, for about 37 days until park opening. 
um, per season pass holders, 37, 38, whatever it is now. But yeah, thanks so much for supporting the channel and watching these construction updates. Um, hopefully you enjoyed all the information Wonderland dropped today. Um, and yeah, uh, thanks guys. <laughs> Have a good one. See you in tomorrow's construction update. Bye.